The women issue in Afghanistan has been very bad for many, many years. Living under the Taliban, it was a time that I don't think any human being wants to be under that kind of condition. Specifically, women were their victims. ما همین کتابای تدریسی که ما می‌خوندیم صف اول دوره ما در بین دستمال می‌پیچوندیم و در بغل خط می‌گرفتیم به اسم قرآن شریف قربان شم ما از ما می‌رفتیم چه درس خود می‌خوندیم اگر از ما کسی سوال ما می‌کرد که شما اینجا به درس قرآن می‌ری باز ما می‌گفتیم بله به درس قرآن می‌ریم ما کتاب به کسی نشان نمی‌دیم ما این کتاب می‌خونیم باز و ما رو می‌گفتن که نگویی که اگه طالب بفهمه شاید ما رو بزنه شما رو بزنه و از تحصیل شما می‌مونیم they were not able to go to school, they were not able to go to work, even they were not allowed to see a doctor. During the war in Afghanistan, we lost nurses, we lost doctors, we lost educated society. So during this time, you could imagine what happened to Afghanistan. Now people are so uh, devastated. They need somebody to just teach them hygiene, teach them how to take care of like a flu or a cold or something very simple. I am Sakina Yakubi. I am the chief executive director of Afghan Institute of Learning. Our objective is the education for the people of Afghanistan, specifically children and women. People are just starving for education. Definitely, we are lacking teacher. Now we have about 5 million children going to school and we have only under 60,000 teachers. And you can imagine that this is not enough. Afghan Institute of Learning is a non-profit organization mainly run by women. We run program in area of education, health, leadership, human rights, women's rights, gender issue, management, and peace education. So far, EIL has trained 16,000 teachers and we have reached 6.8 million people. We train the teacher not only to be just a teacher, but lead the children, lead the other uh, part of the society in a direction that they can think for themselves, they can ask questions, they can understand what's their right and how they can request these needs from the government. So AIL is trying to teach nurse midwife program. Maternal mortality rate is one of the second highest in the world in Afghanistan. Every five child will lose one child. And you can imagine how horrible is it. اندر قدم اول از پروفسور سکینه قبی یک جهان تشکر کچی و از تمام امی پرسنالشان که چنین مسیر بران دختن کوت از امی را بتانن بر تبقی اونا سه که یعنی او حق مندین از درس بس مندین یا نمیتونن در پنتونا یا را بیفن خدمت بزرگی را دادن the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Health are really working with us and we are training people right and left. Again, security is such a big issue right now in Afghanistan. Unfortunately, there are places that we could not go and the Taliban are coming back. مثلا در مصابت نام کردن بسیار به علاقه مندی یک شایی ما رفته بودیم به مسجد به نماز از نماز که بیرین شدیم دیدن به مسجد یک ایلمیه چسبونده یه بل خوندیم که اونا اختار دادیم اگر کسایی که به زیر نام سواد امیزی و خیلیاتی اینا میخواین دخترهای مسلمان اقوا کنن ما اونا جدن اختار میدیم که با اونا برخورد بسیار شدید و قانونی میشه it was very hard because I knew that uh, if something happened, I will never forgive myself because the life of all these women, all these girls is going to be in our hand. So we made the decision that yes, we closed the center. <laughs> رفتم سر بام تبلیغ گرفتم پایین آوردم 
میخواستیم گیر یک تکه به پیچه میمون طرف خانه انتقال بدیم که مثل علی که یک جنازه یک جوانی را برده باشند به داخل سنتر باتیاهان از قصه و اندوش به پایان رسید و روزی که ما تبده و سنتر پایین میکردیم سده ها دختر عشق بیرختم سده ها دختر گریه میکردم سهله جانب دیده نیمی هرگی دو شاید ای باز کردن و دفتر سنتر و قصه دسته شدن سنتر برا گوش نخواهد کرد Life is a threatening every day. Life is um, is a challenge for us. We know that, and it is something that we have lived with it for 35 years. We hired this man to run one of our other center, but he is hoping that his center reopen again. People are suffering. Women are victims, but they go continuously about their work, and you could see that how faithfully. Uh, they are really believe in education because they were during the Taliban working and now they are working still. We are not um, sort of sitting in a corner and saying, well, the security is not there, what should I do? Every year we graduate from all our programs about an average of 20,000 students. So in total, we provide service for 350,000 women and children annually. So it means that we have a long way to go, but um, It's, uh, it's wonderful to see the impact of it. The future um, is bright because the people has uh, this strength in them that they really want to be independent. They want to be self-sufficient. Believe me, the people of Afghanistan has the potential, has the energy to overcome. And through that, I, I see a beautiful, very bright future for the people of Afghanistan and for the new generation of Afghanistan. That would be my dream come true.